What's up, guys? This is your boy, DJ Tony T, back with another video, how to uh, program your DJ board to make it do what you want to do. Um, just wanted to show a few more things. Uh, I did mention specifically uh, the XML files in the last video, but I didn't show how to uh, create your own within the software. You don't have to do it within uh, the file explorer in Windows or on your MacBook. So you can come in here. Uh, we're already on the mapping screen for my DJ board <coughs> and it shows the file that I created the original file and it has a factory default uh, never use ignore because naturally you want the DJ board to activate things within the software right so I never say ignore but uh, it's very easy so to create your own you just simply type whatever you want to have and hit the save button right over here and it will create a new file for you so that's how you can create your own file and leave the uh, factory one alone so the next thing I wanted to show was specifically how to create a uh, command so I'm gonna delete this for demonstration purposes so that drops off off the list of programmed items right it's not here so how to find a new key so let's say I want to program the filter knob I simply just look over here at activity move the knob that I want to program it happens to be called filter you can see the value that changes right unity is 0.5 1 to 0 is the value range so filter is what I want to program I can click on that it automatically pulls up the key right from the long list of keys so now I figured out that that knob sends the filter command to the software right so when it sees filter it will do whatever action is in this window right now it does nothing right so if I pull this down and move the filters here move the filter on my DJ board it won't do anything within the software at all right there's no command at all so if I want to put a command that's this this is where it gets interesting and where you, this is how you customize right I can put any command that I want right I showed the list of commands here there's all these categories tons and tons of categories that you can do uh, these are the list of uh, commands underneath this particular category right all sorts of cool things right lots of neat neat things so let's say I don't know these codes yet I don't understand what these commands are that's okay it has an eyedropper tool just like you see in Photoshop or paint shop pro you just click that and you can set that filter knob to any command you want right I'm gonna drag around and just show all these things I can make a command from that knob that particular knob but I want to do this so I'm gonna hit filter just click and it puts in the appropriate command for that uh, particular item on the GUI on the skin and it happens to be the filter command they match in words it's not always that simple I pick a, an easy example here's the description and there are also some other sub commands under filter you see it's got four more commands I'll show select color FX in a minute so I can set a hard code filter value all the way to the right or all the way to the left or straight up at unity but I don't want to specify anything because I want to be able to change that value as you saw over here so now when I rotate see when I rotate I'll pull this down and it rotates a filter see I'm using the work the right one on my DJ board so it does the right side on the filter I'll do the left one right I can also change the deck and do the other uh, the other ones as well so not everything is that easy but it's a good demonstration you know I'll, uh, some of these I have to put in action deck I don't have to do that here but action underscore deck 
uh, takes whatever deck the key press or knob movement comes from and puts it on the particular deck that is appropriate. So here's an example here regarding cues. <laughs> so um, I'll show what I did for the shift filter, which is right there. That is select color effects. So I'll demonstrate what that does, which is pretty freaking awesome. So shift and filter. Here we go. So as you can see, I can hot swap the filter uh, into other effects, right? I can't do that on this pro skin. I can do that on, I believe, the essential skin. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I can basically, I'm just doing this, right, and then picking one. But I don't have that on pro, so I programmed that button so that I would still have that feature. Right, I, of course, with the mouse, it's just the original one. But if I do shift, I can change that to a different item. So that's a quick demonstration about how to change these things. Now, I hate to say this, but uh, you know, I've only got maybe 150 hours on this so far. I have thousands of hours in Virtual DJ 7. So I had to break down and write myself a little instruction manual, so here it comes. This document tells me what everything does. And so as I am adjusting these things and getting these programmed, I write these things down so that I can remember what I did. Because quite honestly, there's so much. It's going to take me a while to get used to everything. So after a while, I won't need this anymore. But... Uh, I recommend you guys do this because it's easy to forget. The other thing I, I also do is I, I have a label printer and I print the labels of what the buttons do and I place them over on top of the old labels on the DJ board itself. So on the play pause button, which I talked about in the previous video, I have a label that says hold one second, rewind. And then underneath that, it has play stutter for shift. Uh, on the Q button, I have reset EQ, which I showed the code but didn't explain it. And then for shift, it's beat tap. Right. So I literally put the labels on the DJ board so that I can remember as I'm DJing. Because uh, refer referencing this while DJing, if I'm really busy, is not really an option. So I do label these things. Uh, the buttons and the knobs if I can. Um, after a while, like I said, I won't need to do that anymore, but this is still pretty new to me on this particular board, so recommend you guys do that as well. So hope that helped. Uh, once again, this is DJ Tony T. I hope that uh, that was helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya!